In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with some basic text and create a design and import that into design space. There are some specific things you need to know because if you do not do it properly, when you import your SVG to design space, it may appear blank. So we'll begin by inserting some text by selecting the text tool. And as you can see, I'm using the Samantha Upright font, so we'll just do some basic text. And next, I'll go back to my selection tool, and I'll hold the control key while I drag the arrow out and make this a little larger. And you do not have to have your design within this box. You can have it anywhere on the screen. This box is just a placeholder to show page size dimensions. In fact, if you go to File and Document Properties, you can turn off the page border and hide it. I often do that just because it can be annoying to work with your design sometimes. So if you were to save this after just creating the text as an SVG and try to import it into Design Space, it would appear blank. The reason is because it is text and it is not a path. You have to convert this to a path first. And there's a couple other things that you'll want to do. When you select the object, then go to Path and then Object to Path. And now if I select my Node Editor tool, you, as you can see, I can click on each of these individually. I'm going to click the object, and then I'm going to hit my number three key, which will go zoom in all the way to whatever object you're selected on. So that's a shortcut, number three, not the F3 key, but just the number three on your number row. And then I'll go to the node edit tool, and as you can see, each of these letters is a separate object. So if I were to import this into design space as it is, when it cuts, it would cut the overlapping area of these letters, just like in design space when you touch two objects, if you do not weld them, then they will cut into the each, each section where it overlaps. So the way we fix that is we have to ungroup it, so we will click the object and then go to object ungroup, and you'll see it has separated the letters, and that is similar to the isolate to letters function within design space. And with everything still selected, I haven't clicked anything, I'll go to path, and then I'll go to union. And that is similar to the weld feature that's in design space. And now, as you can see, it is all one object. And when I go to my node edit tool, you'll see that it selects the entire object now and not individual letters. So now I will save this as a plain SVG file. And now we'll go into Design Space and go to Upload Images. We'll choose a Vector Upload. And we will import our image. And as you can see, we have a great preview. And then we'll select that, insert it into our project. And as you can see, it is one layer, one object, and you can't ungroup it or anything. So it's just like if you were to have inserted this text and then isolated the letters, positioned your letters to where they overlap for a script looking font, and then welded them. So it is just a plain object and of course you can just adjust the physical size and if I go to the cut screen it will appear as you would expect to be cut. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash Troy Young to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.